Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jun Han. Now for today's video, we'll be heading to Gold Car Import to review a very special car in my heart because I've always had a soft spot for this SUV and that is the brand new Toyota Harrier. So yep, I'm going to film it. I'm going to film the interior, the exterior and why the car is such a stunning car and why I love it so much. Okay, but and also to think whether it's actually justifiable, the price, because the price is actually quite expensive if you compare to the same segment. So yep, without further ado, I'm going to bring you guys with me and let's explore it together. So yeah, let's go. And just like that, here's the brand new Toyota Harrier. Can I just say something? This car looks absolutely stunning in person, okay? In photos, it looks nice, it looks very premium, but in real life, it looks much, much better, okay? Now, just to give you a brief introduction on the history of the Harrier itself, okay? So initially, you have the first two generation, the first generation Harrier and the second generation Harrier. These two was actually only sold in Japan. That is why Lexus actually came out with the RX, which actually shared exactly the same thing. So that one was sold elsewhere. Then after that, you have the third generation. So that's the first Harrier to be available outside of Japan. And now we have the fourth generation. And all I can say is this car looks absolutely stunning. It really looks like a proper Harrier now. Last time I feel like, man, it doesn't look that nice. But this right here, right? It looks absolutely stunning. Toyota actually nailed it in terms of the design. One thing I love this car about so much, right, is from the front, you can see it's really, really aggressive. And this car is all about the lines, okay? You see the lights? It looks super, super fierce and it's very slim, very slick. And the way it's pointed downwards, okay, to give it a very aggressive look. So you can see the daytime running lights. There are two, one here, another here. Yeah, very simple yet very elegant, okay? And then you have this chrome piece which actually accentuates the luxuriness, if that's a word. But obviously, they actually, it's such a shame that actually they remove the logo already, the Harrier logo, the gold color Harrier logo. If it's there, it would be nice because yeah, that's a very premium touch. Now, they just kept it with the Toyota logo, okay? And this one you can see is actually flat. Basically, this one houses all the adaptive radar, cruise control, okay? Everything's inside here, the sensors, okay? But it's very, very neat. The front is so nice. You can see the way you have this line, right? It cuts down. Everything is actually pointed towards the middle and it cuts down. And then bottom here, you see, it's very simple. There's nothing much, just a hole here. And this one, it actually works. It actually guides air inside, okay, towards the side, okay, for aerodynamical purposes. Okay, then you look at the bottom here, this one, the fog lights, no more on the side, which is nice because nowadays, like Mazda, right, Mazda, so their fog lights is always very tiny. They don't put it on the side because it's very messy, okay, so it's very uncluttered. Okay, you can see the bottom here, they just put two tiny ones at the bottom. Yep, really, really nice, okay. Now head towards the side. Now, the side profile also looks very nice. You see the side profile? Now, this car, I got to say first, this one is actually imported from Japan. So, it's not the Malaysian spec, okay? So, the Malaysian spec, actually now, last time when it came out in 2020, right, it cost about 250000 on the road without insurance, okay? But then now, they came out with the latest one, the 2023 one, it's an updated version, which I'll show you later, the differences it has. So, that one now is about 270000 not mistaken. So, that's 20000 more, but actually the difference are pretty substantial okay so yep even the wheels is different this one you can see the cbu wheels right from japan is totally different you got this very chrome finish very nice if you look at the one that we have in malaysia so that one is like two-tone and that one just looks meh it's okay but this is much nicer like, okay the chrome yeah it's like very lexus feeling okay that's nice okay and this car when i drove i drove it just now right it really sucks up all the shock uh, nicely okay basically you go through any pothole everything you don't feel it at all okay so the suspension of this car is very nice it's very comfortable okay so the side profile and then let's head towards the back now this right here is the selling point of this car i love this so much okay the way it actually tapers down okay now this you see the cars like for the D segment right you have the mazda cx5 the crv all those right you can see the way an x70 the back is all actually flat it's very boxy shape Whereas this one, you have this tapered slanted edge, okay? You got this swooping roof line that comes down, give it a coupe style. And that is very, very cool. You, have, you also have all these sharp lines, okay? Which accentuates the back here, okay? You can see the way how the light actually sticks out and then it actually cuts down and come out. You have to see it in person to really, really appreciate the design, okay? The architecture on this is so, so nice, okay? Yep, this is my favorite part of the car. Okay, I can stay at it for days, this angle. Check it out. Beautiful, okay? Then at the back here, you can see the hit the tail lights it goes from one end to the other end which actually accentuates the width of this car especially at night right when the light turns on right 
it's one single strip that runs across yeah it looks really really stunning okay it's like let's say we're driving at night right it's like a cyborg but one thing i don't like about this car right is the signal lights the signal lights right let me just grab the key okay so this is the key okay if uh, the signal lights right let's say when i unlock right you can see it's located at the bottom i really really don't like that okay what i saw right in japan or what they did here they actually had the signal placed underneath right here the signal lights which is really really cool and it's sequential as well so basically when you unlock the car you, the signal light actually goes down here and of course this one's power tailgate you pop this open it opens up and it reveals a large amount of space you can see it extends all the way there yeah this one you can put a lot of stuff but the space is slightly compromised as compared to the crv or the x70 or yep those because right you have a boxy shape right the boxy shape you can put very tall stuff whereas this one when i close it right you can see it actually cuts like this so it actually yeah compromises a bit of the practicality for the looks but i think it looks nice like this right okay it's always the looks that wins now to check out the interior so basically you just put your hand here automatically unlocks open it up and you're immediately greeted by tons of leather so yeah this is very very premium so you see everything is finished in leather you have this brown contrast which is nice because this one only available for the imported vehicle if not mistaken the malaysian one don't have this then you check out the door card itself it looks super super nice okay everything here is soft to the touch i can press it all day and then you got this very neat touch right here so it is the harry logo embossed on the side okay now one thing i noticed about this car right is you have three different things you look here you have this wood very nice wood trim and then you have this chrome and then you have this brown so this theme actually runs across the entire interior of the car which is nice okay and then on the seats right here it's very nice as well you can see soft leather then you have this contrast brown stitching right the middle here is actually fabric okay so let's head inside and let's check out the cabin so let's start the car for the moment just press the brake press on the start so basically this one actually moves forward so this one is telescopic basically you can control from here you can choose up down left right yep it's fully adjustable electrically which is nice okay oh so yeah this one right you can see this is the speedometer itself Wait, let me just close the door for the moment okay let's close it up all right now for the speedometer you can see only oops all right okay so from here you can see right only the middle is actually digital the left and right is actually analog but it's everything is pretty self-explanatory okay so yep if you go up right to the highest so basically this one tells you your fuel economy you go down this one you're driving support basically when you're driving right it tells you let's say if there's a car on the left or on the right okay then you go down and this is your music Go down again so this is your safety system status basically with this four with pre-collision system blank spot monitoring rear cross traffic alert and parking assist okay then we go down so these are the settings okay yeah so everything is pretty standard but it's nice but for the steering wheel it's pretty normal basically with this multi-functional steering wheel left side and right side you can control all right and then bottom here if you press on this basically you can you got a 360 view you can see yeah it goes rotates one round for you to see okay that's a nice let's stop it so this one the power tailgate you press it opens up the back okay now one thing i like about this one right as compared to the malaysian market one is or also the previous the 2021 version right is basically their infotainment screen really looks really really bad okay they have the same shape but then their screen doesn't elongate all the way doesn't expand doesn't use that utilize the entire screen they only use this part right here okay and then on the left on the right you have those buttons sticking out yeah it's very sore to the eyes but now i'm glad they fixed it with the latest version okay basically it's one flat screen that's how it's supposed to look look very neat very nice even the bottom here as well the previous one you have these two knobs right here and a lot of buttons this one now is all touch screen but then it's piano black basically it attracts a lot of dust but it's nice like this okay and then like i said you can see this entire place is all brown and then you've got this chrome and then you have this wood right here same goes for here as well right you got the wood you got the brown you got this chrome very nice very premium all right so the bottom here you can see this is the start stop button it's actually sticking out like this i'm not sure if it's nice but yeah it's floating it leaves you space at the bottom so you use to put your phone it charges your phone all right and then you can see the parking brake right it plays all the way inside this is the first time i see a car that plays all the way inside you have to stretch to basically press the parking brake so this is the brake hole the drive mode so we have three driven driving modes you have eco normal and sport okay so this is the gear shifter which is nice and thick okay very nice to touch All right everything here is very premium okay then even here as well open this up yep you reveal some space you open this up 
Ta-da! It goes all the way inside. You can put the stuff inside. And then this one as well, I like what they did right here. So basically, if let's say you have a small cup, right? You need this so that it actually comes out. Because let's say you don't have this, right? And you got a small cup. You put it inside, it actually sits flush. It's very hard for you to grab it out. So yeah, for them to have this, is very nice. So you put it inside. Okay, the side here, like I said, it's all very nice, soft touch. Yep, you got this piping here as well, all brown. Okay, so open the glove box. Uh, this is hard. This is hard leather. Okay, I mean, this is hard plastic. All right, not everything is leather. This hard plastic. Top here is hard plastic as well. You have head-up display right there. Yep, JBL speakers. All right, and then top here, this one, right? This one, basically, you can change whether you want now we are showing the normal one, right? You press this and ta-da! This shows you the rear, using the rear camera, okay? So this one, you can choose whether you want this. Because let's say if you change back to this, right? You change back to this and there's someone tall behind blocking your view. You just push this and problem solved. It uses the back camera, okay? That's a very neat touch, okay? But this one does not come with the sunroof, okay? The photochromatic sunroof, this one does not have it. Yeah, that's a shame. And then this right here, the screen, everything here is very nice to touch, very nice to press, and it's very responsive. You can see the way it switches, okay? But this one is in Japanese, so I'm not sure how to read, but it's fine because as long, like I said, as long as infotainment screen has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, I think that's what really matters most. Other than that, it's just really icing on the cake, okay? So yeah, I think that's about it for the interior. Very, very nice. As for the back seats, you can see, actually a lot of space as well you also have the same finishing as well the brown or soft leather okay here i'm actually surprised right you have this supreme roof line design but this one doesn't really compromise the height at the back so basically tall people can actually sit behind as well and then this one you also can recline all the way down right for longer distance it's comfortable so yeah this car is really really comfortable okay yeah and last but not least would be the engine of this car now a lot of people don't really like this new generation for two reasons number one is the price because if you compare with the same segment like, like the x70 all right the crv and also the cx5 right those are much more cheaper than this car this car is over 250,000. okay and then the second would be the engine itself so this one is powered by two liter naturally aspirated engine it's not turbocharged and only produces about 183 horsepower and 203 newton meters of torque now if you compare this to the previous generation one a lot of people love the engine so much because it's turbocharged it has so much power but for me right i think this is okay you know why because this is fuel efficient and second is because this car is not supposed to go fast this car is supposed to be very premium okay for you to go from point a to point b comfortably okay to say this one is underpowered actually it's not i have actually driven it it's just nice okay but it's not very powerful right to me this is actually yeah it doesn't really matter much okay but yeah a lot of people don't really like it because of the engine what do you guys think do you guys prefer the third generation engine to put inside here will that be the perfect combination for this car yeah let me know down in the comment section below so buddy guys for my review of the brand new toyota harrier so yeah huge thanks to good car import once again for allowing me to film the car and for allowing me to take the car to this secluded area because as you can see currently now go car import is fully packed with cars so if you guys are interested to buy any recon cars or import cars you can hit there because now they have a wide selection of cars to choose from okay you also can see there's a whole row of toyota harrier in black and white so those are newly arrived from Japan to Malaysia. So yeah, you can check them out, okay? So what do you guys think of this car? Would you actually buy this car for the price you're paying for, for the looks and for the reliability? Me, maybe, but I love the looks so much, I think I might just go for it, okay? So what about you guys? Will you buy this car for the price? Let me know down in the comment section below, all right? So yeah, I think that's about it. With that said, if you guys enjoyed, please remember to like, subscribe, and share your friends, and I shall catch you guys next time. Ciao.